right, so I'm going to welcome our next speaker. So just so that everyone knows, this is the Alternative Media Center. And I'm going to introduce Amy Miller, who's an independent um, journalist who is involved in various independent media projects. And she works a lot with closely with communities to support them and provide them with media and resources. And she's definitely a key player in helping set up this space. So Amy? Great. It's so good to see so many folks who came out to, to see what we're up to. Uh, today's the official first day that the Alternative Media Center, where we're at today, uh, will be doing on the ground uh, live coverage of all the events that are taking place. It's the mandate of the, of the space and the convergence of the Alternative Media Center to come and do reporting on the ground for the actions uh, and, and give that space. The main forum we have to do that is right here, the address. I encourage everyone to check it out, the 2110.media.ca site. And uh, at that site, you'll be able to see uh, 24 hours a day live Twitter feed, uh, Flickr feed, posting, and video. We're also going to be having live video streams coming uh, during actions. We're going to be starting the live video stream today at the 2, 2 p.m. action. We have people who are going to be covering all of the actions, who work very closely with the organizers who have been putting together uh, the actions so that we can make sure that the mar marginalized voices that usually aren't covered in the mainstream get out and get heard. Uh, what we're also be going to do, be doing every day throughout the, the convergences, coming out with the daily broadsheet. Uh, and that's primarily the Toronto Media Co-op uh, who's putting it out. It's called The Spoke, and we just came out with one this morning. People worked on it last night. We had our first story meeting here at this space last night, and people uh, decided to come together and get it out there. So I uh, strongly suggest that everyone take a copy if you don't have one to see. They're going to be passed out at various uh, locations across the city every day. We have a uh, distribution network work of people who are going to make sure that they get, a, get out around the city. They're also available by PDF and they're going to be handed out at uh, various actions. And that's a way to make sure that uh, grassroots voices in resistance to the G8 and the G20 will be heard uh, because we often see that the mainstream media are not covering that and we think it's really important. So by all means, uh, 24 hours a day, the website's going to be updated. There's live streams in every medium. So uh, we look forward to uh, having you check out the site. and. And um, in terms of the space, these are uh, alternative and independent media makers who have gone through a process to apply and be part of the center. And so we're really excited to have this space and to be working in a collaborative nature with various uh, media makers from across the country who are having the chance to, to put their efforts together and uh, really rock it and have a great on-the-ground coverage. So thank you.